Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for Click Kits and I'm going to be using the November kit and I am going to be documenting some kind of funny photos. So these photos are of my daughter. You kind of can't see her that well in the video but in the pictures you can see her in person really well. Um, <laughs> I was in my craft room working on some things and this was the day that she brought the recorder home. Yay. <laughs> so for any of you that has a child about, you know, my daughter's age or that has older children that have brought the recorder home, you know my pain. Um, especially the first day. I think once she learned hot cross buns, sorry that I laugh. But I think once she learned that, it was a little bit better because at least she's playing something. And she's actually did pretty well. Um, they're learning a new song now. I can't remember the name of it, but it's different. And she's actually doing really well. And it sounds okay. But the first day, the or well, the first couple of days, but this was the first day. Um, so she's sitting on, my, on the floor in the craft room behind me playing the recorder and I eventually had to tell her she needed to go to her bedroom because it was giving me a headache. <laughs> um, and she was understanding, like <laughs> she totally understood. So that's the story behind the photos. <laughs> I was not prepared for that at all. You guys, I remember bringing it home as a child and ah, I feel the pain, but these are the photos. So this kit, um, has lots of pink in it, that light pink, and I really, really like it. So I wanted to use that background, that pink paper for my background, and then I'm trying to use up some of the, um, like, scrap papers that I have left, which is this paper um, with the cameras on one side. I wanted to use that, and then um, I matted the photos just with white cardstock just to kind of give them something um, to be behind them. And y'all, I'm listening. <laughs> a lot of my subscribers like to see multiple photo layouts. Um, and these are actually two, they were two four by six photos. I trimmed them down just a tiny bit. Um, but they're much bigger photos than what I normally use. I've been trying um, to do bigger photos. You guys know if you've been following me for any amount of time that I like my layouts to be photo focused. Um, yes, my layouts are everyday photos, so I don't normally have, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten photos of something. So that's why I don't really do double page um, layouts because I focus on the everyday things where I usually only have one or two photos, but I am realizing that I do like the photos to be bigger. Um, every once in a while when I want to fit more on the page, then I'll do smaller photos and I'm still going to do smaller photos. Don't get me wrong, but I really like the focus of my layouts to be the actual photos. Um, so I just have a couple layers going on, some bigger layers. The papers were, I didn't really trim them down that much. They were the size that they were from leftover layouts um, or leftover from layouts, from my previous layouts. And I just used them just like that because it worked. I am going to trim that one down just a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too much on the one side. Um, but yeah, so I'm making the kit work for me and I honestly don't have that much left. I do have some scraps left and I only have, I think two pieces of 12 by 12 left. Um, so not too bad. I'm pulling out some of the ephemera pieces that I have off to the side here that, um, I kind of thought that I might want to use, um, these black flowers were some of them. I really, really like those to just layer behind things. And so I'm going to use that little, um, like banner piece that says unforgettable because the recorder is definitely unforgettable. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to bring out the alpha that came in this kit, which are amazing. I love foam alphas are my favorites. 
um, and I like that this one gives you two different sizes. They give you uppercase and lowercase, and so that makes my heart happy as well. <laughs> so the title is going to be Seriously Recorder? Question mark. <laughs> um, yeah. So I know that on camera, it's a little, seriously, it's not, it's a little crooked there. Um, so after I actually get done recording, I'm like, oh, that's definitely a little crooked. So I fixed it, um, afterwards, but in the video, it looks crooked, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, this layout did not take me very long to complete, you guys. It took me, I think, 36 minutes, which is, I guess, about my regular time. Um, usually my layouts don't take any more than 40 minutes, um, 45 at the most, if I'm doing like a lot of mixed media. Um, yeah, so this layout's pretty simple because that's kind of what I've been really liking lately. Like I said before, I've really been focusing on the photos and just not over embellishing. Um, that's just kind of my jam right now. That's kind of what I've been enjoying a lot lately, which is kind of my style um, for the most part. I do like to try some mixed media and I do like to do, you know, other different techniques and stuff, but I also really want the layouts to be um, photo focused. So now I'm just going ahead and adhering all of these little pieces down. Um, I do not think that I adhered the photos exactly where I had them um, because I had to bring that little cluster there over a little bit further than what I had it previously, but it's okay. Um, that's kind of what happens when you move things, right? <laughs> they don't always end up exactly where they were the first time, um, which is fun. So here I'm fixing one of the recorder part, but I still didn't fix the seriously. The Y is way off um, and it looks funky. I don't know how I didn't notice that while I was filming, but I didn't. I actually took photos of the layout and then I realized um, that's definitely not straight. <laughs> so I cut this haha -ha out of one of the cut aparts and I'm just popping that up on some little foam dots because it's a funny moment there, you guys super funny. <laughs> um, also off camera, before I even started this layout, I did back, um, one of those die cuts right here. It's like that craft. It was just a craft flower and I just backed it with some pattern paper from the kit, um, to kind of make it pop a little bit. And I'm just going to do another cluster right there with that flower and a leaf. And I'm going to add that heart down um, yeah, I know these were way too big for me to use right there. I wanted to use them and I probably could have cut them down, but they just weren't working for me. Um, so I'm just going to use that leaf, which is fine. I like it. Um, and so I'm going to bring that little pink and white stripe heart right there. And then I'm going to use one of the, um, tiny word phrases that says this happened. And then I'm going to use some puffy stickers kind of scattered all over the layout just to add some interest in some different places. I really, really love these puffy stickers are super cute. And that's going to be my layout for today. You guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button. So you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. I will have click kits linked below along with my coupon code. If you guys would like to get your hands on some of these products and I believe, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Bye.